Hey, how's it going? My name's Steve Pycroft. I'm a composer, drummer, filmmaker, and a business owner. When I was about seven years old, I fell in love with music. I couldn't stop listening to all kinds of music, classical music, funk, soul, electronic music, anything that I could get my hands on. I was obsessed with it. And so I studied music and then became a self-employed freelance musician. And that's what I've been doing for the last 10 years. I started off as a drummer playing in bands for weddings and other functions. I then started playing drums in a Johnny Cash tribute show that traveled around the UK. I joined a brass band that plays at festivals around Europe. I set up an orchestra as well and I, I write the music for that orchestra and kind of basically do anything that I can in the music industry. And I've loved all aspects of all of those jobs, especially performing, to be on stage, to see a crowd respond to your performance, to, to see their reaction to your music, the buzz that you feel while you're on stage, when you come off stage, and also you know, being a freelancer, being able to do what you want on a daily basis. And I love it. I am so grateful for the opportunities that I have and having that freedom. However, I don't like flipping things to the negative, but I, I do think that the freedom, the buzz, all those things do actually come with a downside. I mean, let's be honest, being a musician is actually an addiction. It's an obsession. It's a passion. It's like a roller coaster of unexpected emotions and feelings. To me, those things can really create anxious kind of thoughts, you know, anxiety and mental health problems. I suffer quite a lot with anxiety, especially over the last few years. I think I might be at a stage in my career where I start thinking, well, what do I want to do? I've, I've said yes to all these opportunities in the past and I've enjoyed it. I've, I've been really grateful for the experiences that I've had. But at the same time, I feel like I'm not thinking about where I want to head. What do I want to achieve in my life? I think the problem with any addiction or obsession is it comes with this kind of uncertainty, this um, kind of imbalance, this uh, inconsistency. And there's no natural order really. Your addiction is so based on your kind of inner need for something. We need the applause, we need the, the gratification and the, the kind of cheers from the, from the crowd. And it, it can really lead to this pursuit of more and more. You know, we need a bigger gig, a better gig, you know, more views on YouTube, more listens on Spotify or iTunes. And I think if we're not careful, and this is me I'm talking to here, we kind of lose track of why we're doing what we're doing. And I think that's a very dangerous mindset that I'm stuck in. And social media obviously makes that worse. You look on, you, you sit at home looking on social media and you see someone's done a gig and you go, I'm happy for them, but I wish I'd done that. That looks really cool. And again, it's not eliminating these things. I think social media, you know, is a, is a hugely important tool. But I think if you don't manage it, if you don't manage your use of the social media apps and things, they can control you and, and contribute and add another layer to this anxiety. What really made me decide to kind of explore this topic more was when I heard about Avicii committing suicide last year. It really kind of um, broke my heart and shocked me because I, I really admired this guy, you know, I, I admired what he was doing, the, the, the lifestyle he had, and I thought, this guy is successful, that is what success is. And to hear that he wasn't happy and wasn't fulfilled and that this drove him to, you know, mental health problems was heartbreaking because it was, although I didn't know him, I just thought, I'm in this industry and I'm trying to aspire to be like this guy and there's this illusion that being a musician is living the dream, you know, being paid to do something that you love doing, something that was a hobby that turned into a profession, great, like what have you got to complain about? Why are you so anxious? But I think it's dangerous if we kind of think of success as this, as this kind of thing that has to be more and more. You know, success really should just be doing what you love doing, which is creating music. I don't know if I've read this somewhere or whether I've come up with it, but there's this quote that I think is like my biggest issue at the moment, and that is, who we are has become what we do, or what we do has become who we are. I think in all walks of life, you become what you do. I think one of the things I struggle with at the moment is my self-worth, because in the past it's been so much about what other people think. I sometimes really lose track of why I do what I do, and I think losing track of that why is very disconcerting because you question every action that you take. And I know a lot of this isn't specific to musicians or the music industry, but I really want to kind of relate it to musicians and to how the music industry can 
uh, contribute to those mental health problems. I want to know how other people feel about this, whether you go through the same questions in your mind, whether you go through the same anxiety. Do you rely on the approval of the crowd or the approval of other people telling you that you're doing a good job? Is that something that humans need, is that approval from others? I think when you're sitting on your own, and being a musician is ultimately quite a lonely lifestyle, when you're sitting on your own and you have those thoughts and you don't have your friends, you can get very quickly sucked into this negative way of thinking, this uh, self-berating mindset of I'm not good enough or I don't know what I'm doing or God, am I, am I joking myself here that I can make a career out of being a musician? So thanks for watching and it'd be great to have a discussion with whoever's up for it really. So thanks again and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.